What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of SmackDown, y'all. Yes, we know it was pre-recorded, pre-taped, but we didn't check out any of the spoilers ahead of time, so we wanted to kind of be surprised when things happened. The biggest question going into this SmackDown was trying to figure out what did AJ Styles have to say for himself for attacking um, LA Knight? um last week on smackdown so we start off the show with aj styles and aj basically his point he was trying to make is the fact that um that he understands why randy orton and la knight have their beef with roman reigns and the bloodline and he understands why they both want to get their hands on roman reigns but his purpose his his mission for being back is to take out Roman Reigns himself. He basically wants to have Roman Reigns by himself. And if any one of them get involved, there's going to be an issue. He made a point of letting LA Knight know that you pretty much bypassed me after I got taken out with the help of John Cena to take on um, Roman Reigns. And Randy Orton and LA Knight both come out to address him and they basically all had their claims he like that's LA Knight's making it be let him letting it be known like that's cool you have your gripe against Roman Reigns but they screwed me out of the championship so you know you can beef with him after I get my hands on him Ron or Randy Orton comes out there essentially says the same thing only difference is well they took me out of action for 18 plus months so you know y'all can beef with them but i gotta get roman reigns first <clears throat> and essentially that's all it was it was just these three guys bickering on who's gonna take out roman reigns first nick aldis comes out there and he sets up a match uh for uh new year's revolution um um the first i believe is gonna be the first smackdown of the new year and he set up a triple threat match to see who will be the number one contender to face roman reigns at the royal rumble um and you could kind of see where they're planting the seeds there i i do feel like um there's gonna be some shenanigans that ensue in that match and there's a reason why i feel that way so we go to a backstage segment <clears throat> where roman reigns hears this news of uh, a triple threat match being announced to see who's going to be the number one contender. He tells Paul Heyman, hey, who made this match? Nick Aldis. He tells Paul Heyman to go get Nick Aldis so we can have a conversation. Uh, another point in the show, LA, uh, AJ Styles ends up having an interaction with his OC buddies. Mia Young come over there and hug him, but he's kind of not in a mood to really talk to them one he has a match with solo the guy that took him out so he's kind of focusing on that but you can tell he's going this solo route no pun intended because medium's hugging him he's not really showing no remorse they ask him hey we haven't heard from you, you haven't called us nothing he was like you know pretty much kind of nonchalant they were like is there a problem and he's like is there a problem agent like responding is there a problem you can tell he's kind of distancing himself which he should because if you want to be honest the oc have not helped this guy every time he's gotten attacked by the bloodline they were the ones chickening out saying we shouldn't mess with the bloodline and every single time he's getting jumped they never to be found so i'm good leave these niggas leave them behind they they not really get homies like that <laughs> per storyline wise so he's focusing on his match and we get that segment. Then we cut back to Roman Reigns and Nick Aldis first being introduced to each other in person. And I love this. The same way Roman Reigns would try to pull his weight with Adam Pearce, he's trying to do the same thing with Nick Aldis. And Roman's like, yeah, that's cool. You, you made that triple threat match or, you know, for, to see who's going to face me at the Royal Rumble. But what I'm trying to understand is why you didn't run that by me first. Like what's what's going on here? Like that's that's not how things are usually ran. And Nick Aldis had the perfect response. He's like, I get it. Maybe things were ran differently when you was dealing with Adam Pierce, but when it comes to me, I'm I'm an executive here. I run SmackDown, and we're not gonna do that. You know, he uh, Roman even questioned why is Solo having a match against AJ Styles. He was like, What's going on with that? And Nick Aldis basically was saying, you know what, I, I the reason why I made 
that match because I, I feel like that's a really good match to have for the show. I mean, Solo is an amazing competitor. He took out John Cena like I've never seen before. In fact, come to think of it, he did something that you've never done. You've never taken out John Cena like that. You've never beaten him like that. And you can tell it struck a nerve. And I'm glad someone brought this up on television because I've been saying this. That needs to be some type of storyline that they expound on that Solo has been the only one to <laughs> GG John Cena like that. Pack him, up, pack him up like that. Not even Roman has done that in his entire career. But Solo was able to. So I'm glad they mentioned that. It kind of pissed off Roman, but I love it. It's like, yeah, Solo was able to do that. Not even you could do that. But hey, this is how things are going to be ran on this show. Hopefully, me and you can have a, you know, a mutual good relationship here. But as it stands, you know, I'm that nigga. <laughs> nah, nah, he didn't say that, but essentially he let it be known. I run the show. I'm not going to be bullied. I'm not going to be pressured into anything. Hope you have a nice day. Hope you enjoy the triple threat match when it happens. And Roman sits back and he starts twitching. His face is twitching. He's looking angry. And that's where I believe we're going to have some shenanigans, like I said earlier. And Roman's going to get involved in that match. Roman is going to do something where we potentially have a fatal four-way in for the Royal Rumble. Because he's going to get involved because he's going to want to make sure nobody is able to face him at the Royal Rumble. And we see a little bit of that at the end of the show. So we got AJ Styles versus Solo Sokoa as the main event. You know, obviously AJ wanted to get his revenge. And I knew there was going to be some shenanigans. I just didn't know how it was going to involve the bloodline. But towards the end of the match, Roman Reigns comes out there and causes the interference. And, you know, uh, Solo gets disqualified. And they start packing up AJ Styles. Now, earlier in the show, AJ said nobody gets involved. He told that to Randy Orton and LA Knight. Don't even get involved in my match. Let me do this by myself. If you do get involved, it's going to be some problems. Well, as AJ is getting stomped out, you hear Randy Orton's music. Randy Orton comes out there and he starts uh, helping out. And then that's when uh, I want to say uh, Jimmy gets into the mix. So now... He, you know, he's starting to, the, the number game is starting to get a best, the best of him. So now he's getting jumped <laughs> as well as AJ Styles. Then LA Knight music here. He comes out there, evens up the odds, and they toss everybody out the ring. Roman, Solo, and uh, Jimmy. And at this point, everybody, the baby faces or somewhat baby faces. And I don't know if AJ would consider himself a baby face now. But everybody's standing in the ring, you know, just, standing somewhat victorious and then all of a sudden aj you know he still has his issues he goes at randy orton like yo what the hell bro i told y'all not to help me he goes at la night and then he ends up a hitting la night just clocks him and then la night said oh no nah, we ain't doing this again so they start fighting start stomping on him then randy orton tries to stop la night and then he shoves Randy Orton. Then Randy Orton and LA Knight start fighting. And Jimmy and Solo about to get in the ring. But Roman's like, no, 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 no. Stay back. Don't get, don't get involved. Let these guys destroy themselves. So essentially the end of the show is all these guys, instead of fighting their main ops, is fighting each other. Because for whatever reason, AJ just says, nah, bro. I don't care if I am getting stomped out. Don't save me. Because you saved me, I'm mad at you. I'm fighting everybody. <laughs> and now they're fighting each other. <laughs> when it would just be so much smarter if these guys worked together and took out the bloodline. <laughs> Don't know if we're going to get to that point, but yeah, it just just food for thought. Ultimately, I do feel like this is setting up a fatal four-way. I, I think it would be very, even more interesting to do it because they all have gripes with each other every last one of them has gripes with each other and they all have gripes the common denominator is roman reigns they all have issues with roman reigns in the bloodline so i do think a triple threat would be very interesting or oh, no a fatal four-way would be very interesting and it would be it'll freshen up the match because we know if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, we know Solo or Jimmy's going to get involved. So at least even if they do get involved, 
it sets up the match in a different way where it seems a little bit more fresh um so i'm i'm going with that fatal four-way at some point roman reigns will get involved in the triple threat solo or jimmy and it'll throw the whole match in disarray and they'll have to be they'll have to figure it out some way it'll probably be a whole bunch of fighting and chaos and nick all just be like you know what since y'all want to get involved in this match and you've ruined the triple threat match it's gonna be a fatal four-way at the royal rumble good luck and roman's gonna be super pissed so but once again the stories can work because they all have issues with each other and what's going to be their downfall is everyone's going to be trying their hardest to take out roman instead of working together everyone wants to be the one person to take down roman and that's when roman's going to be able to capitalize and retain i think that's how it's going to play out some of y'all say i have the script i don't i just think that would be the most logical thing and most exciting um a potential match all four of these guys in the ring i think a lot of us fans will definitely be interested for sure um so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this episode of smackdown and do you guys think it's going to be a fatal four way at the royal rumble because i definitely do for the for the championship but i appreciate all love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speeded youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all on the next one peace